Hey, Jesse J. Haston here. I forgot after the last race I just did, GT3 Challenge at Sebring, after the incident replay, I was going to show this and I forgot to. Evidently, this is Michael McDowell. That'd be the first race I've ever done on iRacing where I, uh, in the same field as a real life pro driver. And uh, as you can see, Filter Time, that's a sponsor used in NASCAR, among others, I guess, but notice this with NASCAR, like Dale Jr. uses this sponsor too in the iRaces and stuff, but uh, Carolina, somebody said that's where he's based or something. Michael McDowell. Someone said it, uh, he also had the same hel helmet colors that he uses in real life, I guess. I don't know about that. Uh, for the Loves sponsorship that he has, I guess. Anyway, yeah, he won the race. Switch views there. Oh, it's all choppy looking until I click up here. Sorry about that. So yeah, he won the race. I think it was him also, mainly because of the fact he did not come on the radio or the, or the chat and, and uh, confirm it. And I've noticed that with these pro drivers. I think they keep us all muted out so they don't chat with us, keep their concentration. And uh, if it wasn't him, they, the person totally would have said so. Like, yeah, no, it's not me. Plus the, the fact that his name here, his name here doesn't have like a number next to it. So you'll notice if somebody makes on iRacing makes the name as a real of a real pro driver or something that that if that pro driver is already on iRacing, you're gonna have to put a number on after the name if you're create if you're faking the someone else's name I guess. So yeah, lots of deciding factors went into that. So that this is probably Michael McDowell here. Yeah. So that's all. That's all I want to note. Forgot to do that. Sorry. At the end of my last video here. So. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Catch you all in the next one.